Great. Mm -hmm. I'm Barbara. Hey. It's very interesting. Um, the last couple of days, our local newspaper has had articles about academic progress yes. and how Manchester has not made academic yes. progress. And all the teachers here can tell you because Beach Street is very much like Northwest. It's an inner city school, right. and the same issues you have students who may not be able to score in a certain level of test. But remember we used to do the um, the Title I pre and post test cumulative. Right. And I heard John talking about that right. at City Hall the other day. Yes. He is he leans towards that the cumulative. So you actually do see the growth. Right. You know when a child comes in to third grade at a pre K reading level right. but leaves at the end of first grade, you've made progress. Absolutely. But they're still not making progress right. according to this the arbitrary testing. standard. So it's very discouraging for the teachers who right. work so hard. Uh, and as is. you said, our heart and soul is in the classroom, and right. we do everything we can, and then we're constantly getting this feedback, well, your school didn't make progress, there's something wrong. And, and that's part of the punitive nature of this, too. I mean, if in, uh, the system, when it stopped for one second, was, well, the other part of what I was going to say, what I was going to say about this, because I did remember what I was <laughs> Don't let me forget this part. Is, <laughs> I call it chemo brain all the time. Um, I could blame it on the fact that I'm 58, but I prefer not to. <laughs> You're just a kid. Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, going back to what you were saying, this it can't be the problem with uh, with the punitive is just that you see it and you and you think of it as negative instead of thinking of it, thinking of all right, this the way they're testing doesn't give you this. All right, what is, where is it that we we need to fix something here? And you know, all right, you can't fix the where they come into the into the classroom. They're going to come in about where they are. You can fix it for next year, but not for this year. Um, uh, and how do we make it better? This No Child Left Behind has no emphasis whatsoever on helping you make it better. Now, No Child Left Behind is based on a Houston program where, as everybody knows now, because Broad Page's outing is, was a fraud, really. You know, they, they would succeed because they would transfer kids out to you know, Saturn or someplace, you know, um, uh, who weren't succeeding. But the Houston program was actually based on a North Carolina program called ABCs, and what ABC's did differently than it's being done in No Child Left Behind, uh, you send anything through Texas, apparently it doesn't come out the same. Um, <laughs> and and, the, and the, um, uh, is that North Carolina's program was remedial. They, when you had a school that failed, um, you uh, was, was failing. Teachers actually, you know, you'd be unhappy about that, but you thought they would send in something called a, a school-wide assessment team. It spells out SWAT. They send a SWAT team in, and the teachers would go into the classrooms, uh, aides would go in, somebody would go into the office, people into the resource rooms, into the media center, even people would come and look at the physical facilities and say, what is not happening here? Since the teachers want it to happen, the students want it to happen, so why isn't it happening in their mind? And then when they identified what was not happening, they funded the fix. The second year it was, it, it was out, and I wish I knew all the statistics, but I don't. The second year they turned around 80% of the failing schools because they funded the fix. This administration is, goes exactly the opposite way. Instead of looking at what the, where the particular money needs to be sent, all of these specialists, where does the you know, actually what's happening is there's no light in this building, or actually what's happening is, um, you know, the... No walls, no walls, no walls. No, no, whatever, no walls. Yeah. What, whatever it is that's not, that makes it not work, they're, they're identifying it and they make the fix. And this administration instead says, it's not working so you have to do the supplemental services by some private company, taking some of your dollars to do that mm -hmm. instead of doing the thing that actually needs to be done. The decision about what needs to be done needs to be made as close to the school as possibly can be made. You know, it's good if you've got the experts like they've, like they've developed in North Carolina who, can, who are, are pretty good at spotting what the things are. But however it is you do it, it's gotta be made there, not someplace else, but what it is that fixes it, and then you have to fund it. Instead of this, the, the, the result of doing that is you're pulling money away from the schools to, to accomplish this goal. So it, doing exactly the opposite of what you ought to be doing.